Hi, I'm going to be talking about parallel rank K updates. Um, these sorts of operations are extremely fundamental, and uh, it turns out to be where most of the time goes in uh, several supercomputer benchmarks. For instance, the, the high performance LINPAC benchmark spends the vast majority of its time in this operation, and the sorts of communication it performs are more sophisticated, but the basic idea is what I'm going to be talking about. Okay, so. Suppose that we have a matrix C that we've divided up into a four by four set of submatrices, which I've labeled, uh, say, C sub I J for the in the ith row and the jth you know block column. Okay, so what we'd like to do is update C with the product of a tall skinny matrix A uh, multiplied by um, a very uh, short and wide matrix B. Okay, so it should be fairly obvious that if the way we've partitioned things, if we want to update the, the ij block of C, then we need to add ai multiplied by bj to that block. Okay, so that, that should be obvious. Now suppose that um, we had 16 processes that we used to distribute this matrix C. So um, each process would get one of these blocks. So what that means is that if we considered say the process in the 3, 1 index of this two-dimensional grid, what he would need to perform his portion of the local update is A3 multiplied by B1. Okay, so what we notice is that every process in this row needs A3, and every process um, in the ith row needs A sub i. Um, likewise, every process in the jth column needs Bj. So what this means is that we would like um, to think of having this um, matrix A being redundantly distributed only within columns of this two-dimensional process grid. So for instance, we would like A sub 0 owned by processes 0, 4, 8, and 12, and you know, A2 owned by processes 2, 6, 10, and 14. Likewise, we would like to think of having uh, this matrix B distributed uh, redundantly within each row of this two-dimensional process grid. So for instance, um, B3 should be owned by processes 12, uh, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so that's what we need in order to be able to locally compute the update to C. But now suppose that um, A and B are just portions of a larger distributed matrix that was actually distributed in the same manner to C. So suppose that um, originally, A was distributed just like this column of C. So actually, rather than having um, processes 0, 4, 8, and 12 originally own A sub 0, originally only process 8 owned it. And likewise, originally only process 9 owned A sub 1, and process 11 was the only um, process that originally owned A sub 3. But what we would need in order to perform this computation is to broadcast this whole um, uh, matrix A within rows of the process grid. So uh, process 8 would want to give its copy of A sub 0 to processes 0, and 4, and 12. And then likewise, um, process 10 would want to give its copy of A2 to processes 2, 6, and 14. OK, and of course, a similar argument applies to B. If it was originally just a row of uh, some matrix distributed like C, then what we would need to do is uh, broadcast pieces within columns. OK, so what this implies is a sort of algorithm for doing parallel matrix, matrix multiplication, or at least performing a rank K update. So it would be called a broadcast broadcast algorithm. So it would essentially take place in two steps. We would um, broadcast A sub I um, within process columns. Um, process, sorry, within process row I, and then broadcast B sub J within process column J. Okay, so after we do that, we can then have each process locally compute its portion of this. Um, um, outer product update, and then we're done. Um, so I'll, I'll leave it as an exercise to the viewer to actually 
um, recall what the cost is for performing a broadcast. In this case, we uh, will probably want to think of using the sort of uh, scatter all gather variant of broadcast if, if these matrices are sufficiently large. And then likewise, um, for you to recall that the cost of performing uh, a matrix matrix multiplication of an M by K matrix against uh, a K by N matrix has cost 2M and K. So it would be useful for you to go through and actually work out what the cost is for both the, uh, the broadcast and then the local computation of um, A sub I multiplied by B sub J. Thanks.